Hey guys, it's JH in the practice bunker. I'm just going to do, it's very late in the day and we've lost the light. I'll just show you a bunker shot with channel lock off the back foot. Exact, everything exactly the same. The only difference is we don't lift the club up like we normally do in a bunker shot. We pressure it down. Flag's about 18 feet on. Well, it's a marker. It's not a flag. Balls off the back foot. Pressure down. Okay, we've hit that up about 15 inches. Okay, guys, now the advantage is that what do we want to do in a bunker shot? We want to hit the ball fat. We're hitting behind the ball, aren't we? And what's a good thing to ensure you'll hit the ball fat? Have your weight on your trail side. Okay, we've got the ball a long way back on the trail side, so that's going to make us have our weight on our trail side. Bunker shot is an intentional fat shot. That's what it is, guys. Now, the advantage you'll have when you get in the bunker is that if you play the ball off the back foot and you take it in here and you and you hear, hit it, you'll actually see the channel. And it's a really good indicator. But you still hit into out, guys. You don't hit across the ball as you do in a traditional bunker shot. Don't do that. You still hit into out. I just hit one back. dangerous hitting towards the camera but see where I am here guys I'm right here and I'm going to push the club here I'm going to push it here I won't hit the ball because if I hit that camera it'll, it'll be gone but, but watch the action I'll just hit inside the, inside the shot I'm pushing here guys look and see the, the actual path is just dead square well I say dead square it's a dead square travel but it's it's into out it's not out to in as it as in a traditional bunker shot it's not out to in like i've never understood that anyway and of course in a traditional bunker shot we load left well we don't want to load left we're right-handed we want to get as we normally do in channel lock get back here close the shoulders and push the club down push it down and by pushing it down, guys, it becomes very much an arm ball. And you can control the speed of the shot by the speed of your arms. That's the good thing about it. You, close, you, you control the speed of the shot by the speed of your arms, not by how much you cock the club and how much you've got to unload the club. In a conventional bunker shot, bunker shot, we get here, we cock the club up, and then we're... Well, with channel lock we don't do that with channel lock we push the club back we keep the pressure down down the pressure is always down guys and what happens is that the cut will be shallower than normal which is good particularly if you've got harder pack sand perfect if you're going to hit a uh, uh, out of really hard packed wet sand it's perfect for that but it's completely the opposite to a standard bunker shot guys standard bunker shot we got the ball up here we load left we cock the club up and we cut across it no never understood that channel lock we have the have the ball back we take the club inside in the channel and we pressure down here and we we fire it that way we fire into out so you've got to work on the you've got to work on the direction um, of where you're going to hit, and that'll take a bit of practice. But generally speaking, it's it's exactly the same as as, uh, as normal normal um, channel. Lock. On the back foot, here, pressure down. I mean that's just just a beautiful cut guys it just cuts just incredibly I don't know slicey in, in terms of the cut I mean it's not it's not a big gouge like like when we break our wrists in a normal normal bunker shot it's very steep and you'll just 
very hard to control the steepness of the shot. But with channel lock it's very shallow. <clears throat> and people would say, well you don't want to do that in a bunker shot. Well I think you do. I really think you do. So here it is guys, look. It's back foot. Yeah, we're going to pressure down. And it's just a beautiful action. Beautiful action. And, and, and if you look at, you'll get, you'll know when you're swinging in the channel because the, the, the path, the cut in the bunker will be beside you. It won't be in front of you. It'll be beside you. And you can see that. And it's a really good indicator. So once more guys, we're back here. We don't pick, we don't pick the club up. We do not pick it up. Oh, mosquitoes here are terrible. It's late in the day here, guys. We don't do that. And we don't play the ball there. And we don't open up. We play it off the back foot. Close the shoulders. And we pressure down. Pressure down. Pressure down. There's no cocking of the wrists up. There's no throwing away. It's like an arm ball. And we control the distance by the speed of the arms. That's what it is, guys. Okay, I don't know what the, uh, it'll probably be awful uh, visuals here, this time in the day. But I just wanted to do a little bit on it. If, if the video is not any good, I'll do another one tomorrow because it's very rushed. Uh, but it works, I mean, that's out there with better foot from 18 feet out of less than ideal conditions. Okay, guys, that's, that's channel lock out of the bunker. Don't do anything different. Uh, but make sure that you don't lift the club up in the backswing. Don't cock it up and then throw it down. Push it down. Be careful that you don't push it into the sand. But push down, pressure down, and then just arm ball it. Come through. Now, you've got to be more aggressive. Having an arm ball requires a little bit more speed. If we pressure down, and you're going to arm ball it, you've got to have a bit more speed. Now, in a normal bunker shot, you can have a little abbreviated swing and a lot of wrist cock and that gives you the speed. But when you've got an arm ball, you have to have more arm speed. So you'll have to work that out for yourself. Okay guys, it's getting really, the sun's almost gone. Okay, I'll have a look at this and if it's any good, I'll post it. If it's not, I'll do another one tomorrow when the conditions are better.